if you want a great place to play, I will be live streaming this game. I'll I want to make a series where it's just me and you viewers just doing random stuff. So, yeah, be on the lookout for that. Please join if you want. And yeah. Okay. So, you want to play Super Mario 64 EX Co-op online. But you don't know how to do that because the Discord invites don't work. So what do you do? Well, you could use our admin, which is actually a lot easier than you think. So, um, go to the Discord invite in the description and go to how to play. This is the Spanish section, so we don't really need that unless if you talk Spanish. So scroll up to the instructions. So the easiest way, the way that I did, was the co-op compiler. If you want to do the more customizable SM64 PC Builder 2, which I, uh, I think it could do textures and stuff, I have not used it. I've used the co-op compiler because it's just the easiest for me. So, click on this and download. Okay, now that you've downloaded it, open and wait. Go to more info, run it anyway. Okay. So the ROM has been found automatically because I've already done this, but if it tells you to find it, go to the location of the of the your ROM file and select it. So now I'm going to compile it and you can do these two. I will do OpenGL cuz this one is just easier and just better in general. And just wait for this to go. Alright, it's finally done. This took about like 15 minutes, maybe 20. So yeah, you might want to, you know, like go grab a coffee or something while this is going. So now there should be a button that says play. So you click on that. And it should open it. As you can see. Um, I already have my color code on because I've already done this. Um, let me just quit so you could find where it's located. It should be located in here. See, wherever you put your compiler, there will be a bin folder. That's where it will be located. So these are the mods that it comes with. It comes with some ROM hacks. It comes with some like move set mods as well. Um, I my version did not have these, so I'm a little bit confused. But you know that's just how you know it's being updated. So let's open it. And as you can see, I already have my color code. Um, you could host or join. I'm going to show you guys how to um, host and join in this video and how to add more mods and ROM hacks. So let's get into that right now. So in order to host and in order to join, you need a program called RAdmin. So go into the other link in the description, RAdminVPN.com. And download I've already done this so yeah once you once you download it just open it and go through the little wizard thing and that should be it it's super easy so I shouldn't need to 
get you through that. Just go through all the defaults and stuff. So once you're done with that, you should have RN. I recommend, as you can see right here, open file location, grab this, control C, and now go here, click new, shortcut, control V, and then browse. And as you can see, I'm already here. So I'll click on this, OK, I'll click on next, and I'll click on finish, and it's right here. So now, I don't have to go digging through my Windows folders to get to it. It's all in the same place. So, let's open it. And as you can see, I've already used some. I've joined some, and I've made some, which is this one that I've made. So, it's extremely extremely easy to join so if you want to join or host go to play co-op and so now we have people that are doing stuff right here let's find it as you can see this person has been extremely nice to give us this so our admin name and pass vanilla co-op so we go to network join network for the network name we put vanilla co-op just like how we said and the password which can be something different as well we press join and as you can see we are here if you want to leave you can right click the name and leave the network so now that we're in you have to keep our admin open and now we copy this IP and now let's open EX co-op click on join and paste it in and then if they don't give you a port you just do the whatever this is called I don't know and then 7777 that is usually the default unless stated otherwise as you can see, 7777. Click on join. And it should automatically load the mods that the server owner has. As you can see, Star Road. And also, Hide and Seek. And as you can see, we are currently playing Hide and Seek. As you can see, we have a person right here. We could, we could fool around with them. We could have fun. Now, I'm going to show you how to create a network. So let's leave this network because I don't want to be in it anymore. And let's create a network. So go to network, create network. You need to remember the network name and network password so you can show it to other people. Yes, you will have to show the password for other people to join. So let's just name it example and then let's make the password hello and then you have to type in the password again oh it has to be six characters long let's put another O in there so hello with an extra O at the end and let's create it oh what so you see there are requirements so let's do Example one two three four five create and as you can see it is right here and now what you want to type in to have other people play you want this IP right here copy that and then you do our admin name which is example one two three four five our admin pass is hello with an extra O and then IP would be this and then because there is no port that it says you just put the 7777 just like that and other people should be able to join you so you press host do direct connection the port should be right here you could change it to whatever you want but keep it as 7777 you could put in some mods. Let's put football. Why not? ROM hacks, no, and host. 
And as you can see, we are now playing football. Yeah, so that's very cool as well. And of course, I can delete this network as well. And now, I will show you how to get DYNOS packs and mods. So let's go over to co-op mod releases. And let's find a mod to play. Let's do Monochrome Mario 64. Why not? So we download in the mods folder. Just put it in. Bam. It's all here. And so then, now DYNOS, we just have to look for one that changes, you know, the DYNOS. So this. Cheesy Nacho. Which is this epic little cat. I think he's from that one troll cat game. Anyway, now that we have this, we just go DYNOS, Packs, and we create a new folder and name it. Whatever we want. I'll name it Cybon, or whatever you pronounce it, Cybon. And you get this stuff and you put it in. Bam. Re-enter. And as you can see, it automatically enables. So now, I go to host, mods, but where is it? It's not here, the one that we added, because that's a ROM hack right here. And so now I'm going to host, and as you can see, we're here, Monochrome Mario 64. But, how do I get out of this? Of course, you could just DYNOS pack, or you could just turn them off. That is how you add mods. That should be everything that you need. That should be everything that you need to know about EX Co-op. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. I hope this tutorial helped.